Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I just wanted to let you guys know that it is official. The holiday tea boxes will be here next week. So these holiday tea boxes make really good gifts. Basically you'll get three different types of teas. There's gonna be three different types of boxes to choose from. So one will be a holiday beauty box. The second will be a holiday wellness box. And the third one will be a holiday flavored box, okay? They'll come with three different teas. They all hold an ounce of tea in each canister and you can make up to 12 to 14 cups of tea. So if you guys are interested in this, this will be available next week on lovelytea.net. And if you're interested in any other tea products, make sure you guys go on to amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much once again for all your support and stay tuned for the video. Welcome to Lovely News Networks. So I have a story that's coming from our third favorite state, crazy ass California. So what's going down in crazy Cali, you ask? What's going down is this. Um, you have a man, it's around 10 o'clock in the morning, and he's basically minding his own business. He's dressed in a suit, so I'm assuming that he's on his way to work. And so he's walking down the street, and there's another man just sitting there. He looks like a transient. And now the son, he jumps up and he pushes this innocent man into oncoming traffic. And this man gets hit by a damn truck, okay? This entire situation was so disturbing to watch. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. A brutal crime captured on camera in downtown LA's jewelry district. Police say the man seen here in a lime green jacket is a transient that frequents this area. He's sitting in front of a restaurant around 10 a.m. on 6th Street near Broadway when the victim, believed to be in his 60s, walks by. Unprovoked, he shoves him into oncoming traffic. The victim is hit by a box truck and ends up under its tire. The suspect picks something up and nonchalantly walks away as he's pinned for at least 10 seconds. A business owner rushes to his aid until paramedics arrive. He's listed in critical condition with a collapsed lung and scrapes and bumps and bruises. And we think that he, he's going to make it, which is great news. A manhunt was underway for several hours. Around 645, LA firefighters spotted the suspect a few blocks away, still in the lime green jacket, and called police. Ryan Jeter recently moved to downtown and says this is the second violent attack he's heard about. The last one occurred a few months ago. One of the homeless people hit one of the residents in the head with like a stick and injured him, and it was a big thing. And Did you see it? I saw that. I saw right after it happened. So I saw the guy like as soon as he got hit and it was it was bad. Pedestrians out for the evening say they feel safe, but incidents like this puts things into perspective. I've lived here for five years and I've actually never felt un I've never felt harmed in any way. And so but hearing things like that is really definitely scary. I'm always walking in downtown LA. And, you know, we're actually doing a food tour right now, and it's, it's really lively here, so it's very unfortunate to hear that happen. Now, the suspect is in custody and being interviewed by detectives. He could face an attempted murder charge. Reporting live in downtown Los Angeles, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News. All right, so you guys just saw that video, and they're saying that they have since arrested that man. In my personal opinion, watching the way that guy got up, the way he pushed another human being into oncoming traffic, picked up whatever he dropped, and then just casually walked off like it was no big deal. I feel like that man was crazy as cat shit. Nine times out of ten has some type of mental illness. If you guys don't know, there's a lot of people suffering from mental illness on the streets of L.A. You'll see them in downtown L.A. just talking to themselves, screaming. And I remember when I first moved to L.A. used to have me so scared and nervous because you'd literally be walking past somebody and they just jump up and start screaming and they get in your face. And it used to scare me all the time. And I know, you know, after a while when you're down, you kind of get used to it and people don't mind walking by these people. But me, if I see somebody carrying on and acting a fool and frailing their arms, I tend to walk away from them as, as far as possible just for the fact that you never know what they're going to do. This entire situation is an example of what somebody who's not all there mentally can do to you in a split second. Now, granted, you know, he wasn't up screaming and frailing his arms. He was sitting down, but it just shows you how crazy that is. That man could have literally lost his life. You know, that was a huge truck that pinned him down and he was pinned underneath that truck for at least 10 seconds. You know, so much so that the driver didn't know what was going on. You know, thank goodness the driver was able to stop and not go over him because had the driver gone over him that man could have died so this entire situation is just really really disturbing but i'm really happy they were able to catch him and now he's behind bars so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation that's coming from our third favorite state crazy ass california all right deuces Nikki! <laughs>